Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. My eyes get so watery sometimes from the air conditioning in the car, so don't mind that, I'm not crying, I am okay. Um, I just dropped Eve off at Wolfgang um, to get groomed, and now I am at Track Shack to pick up some masks for our family that's gonna be in town. These masks are the best, like, they do a great job um obviously being a mask like doing what a mask has to do um but also they're so comfortable they're so breathable especially in the humidity um, people ask me all the time even with me being pregnant like it really makes um living in florida going to the theme parks being in humidity really easy wearing these masks we get them at our local running shop um but they are called Zensa, and I'll put how you spell it here. Um, but you can order them online. And um, people have been asking us a lot because they do look so comfy. They really are. The center portion is a different material. It has like silver in the um, fabric, and I guess that makes it really nice and breathable. The reason they're sold at the running shop is because they are fit for working out in because they're just that breathable. Um, really high quality. I don't mind anyone who asks where we get them. If um, if you happen to miss this clip or miss in the past when we've talked about it, um, because honestly they're game changers and I want as many people to wear these masks as <laughs> you can. Because seriously, um, masks are so necessary. You guys know that we are um, all about wearing masks, but we understand like it's it's not always comfortable it's not always enjoyable and this has really been a game changer for us so i'm gonna go pick up two more go home do some work and then go get eve um yesterday was her last day of being fluffy in the vlog so get ready to see a nice cool um short-haired eve again after today <laughs> I came bearing gifts. And my my I have a thirty minute meeting with my team every day, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday at nine thirty, and it usually is like not even the whole time. I just got off five minutes wow. ago. Wow. I just got, got settled out here right before you walked through the door. Got him beyond sausage with no egg or cheese, and what should I call it? There. Hash browns are so yummy. Can you smell them? And I got myself the same plus an apple fritter. Oh. Were you a good girl, did they say? They said she was good. They said she's done an hour ago and the text message didn't go through. She took a Aww. nap. She said she talked oh. to some other doggy. You making friends? <laughs> she, Sarah's got a treat in her hands, so she was <laughs> like, get away from me. I gave her a bandana. Okay, you're sitting so good. I want to take the bandana off. And she's in that post-groom moment where she's just rubbing her body up against all the furniture and can't get comfortable. You okay? You want to take a nap? Are you exhausted? There's my pup. There's my best friend. They both fell asleep on the couch. Alright, my work day is done for the day. But the plans have changed for the evening. So Saturdays are supposed to be my long run, but Saturday, tomorrow is going to be quite the adventurous day. Um, and so I'm gonna go on like a more than a two hour run later. I was gonna run six miles today and then shoot for 12 tomorrow. But we've got family flying in town tomorrow night. We've got, it's the first day that non-premiere holders like it's not it's the first day you can go to the Helen Hornets houses and I finalized plans with Megan to meet her there super early um, to try to get into both houses and I still have to do a little bit of work like on the weekend mornings you guys know that so Sarah was really tired already and we kind of decided rather than going to Epcot again tonight that we would flip things around and I would do my long run today and run my six miles tomorrow so we're kind of laying low because I'm gonna wait until the sun goes down and probably head out for the run at eight o'clock. Yawn! 
go start the run at 8 o'clock and go till 10 or 10.30. So I'm gonna drink a Martin's Drink Mix 320. It's got all the fuel and everything I need and it's good to have that like two, three hours before hand. Um, and I'm gonna see if she's gonna wake up. She kind of dozed off like an hour and a half ago and Eve's been kind of just chill. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do between now and eight. We talked about going to Target. We may just like, hang out at home. We shall see, but I'm pumped. It's a weekend. I'm not technically doing full days of work until Wednesday of next week. I'm gonna sign on every day to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And we've got big plans because we're doing parks Sunday, Monday, potentially Tuesday, if we can get the park pass, which actually I should just go in and reserve because we're not doing Epcot. And you know what, I'm gonna do that. I got my water bottle here for the feed before I try to fix our passes. There's the drink mix specially formulated to work with 500 milliliters of water which is actually just filling this up normally um, it, it needs it needs no more no less because that's how this powder is set to work it's what gets it's like the fuel jelliness not jelliness but like the fuel hydro hydro gel is what they call it to work Got to cancel these passes first, then go in and try to get them. I woke my puppy up because I put her leftover dinners in the microwave, but I don't want to heat them up until I wake up Sarah. Now she hears the shaker shaker. All right, so canceled that. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just canceled the wrong park pass day. Quick, move quickly. So I'm canceling today. Come on, I just canceled Sunday. Sunday's like the biggest day to be with our visitors. Okay, I think I got that back. I think I got Sunday back. Got Tuesday as well. So I got three park days for all of our three passes. Universal tomorrow. Check in the resort. Have a great time. Still asleep. Fell asleep. So I'm putting on somebody feet fell. Someone's having an existential crisis. It's not me. It is you. I just want sushi. Then let's get sushi. <laughs> or cheeseburger. Sarah's just having one of those days, you know? I'm going to Publix <laughs> to look for sushi. <laughs> I don't want to cook. We need to go grocery shopping. She doesn't want what we planned for dinner. You don't want to go to get sushi, but you don't want delivery, <laughs> but you want all you can eat sushi. I don't think there's all you can eat sushi in Orlando. There's a place in celebration that does it once a week, once every third blue moon. And it's like dumb expensive. Actually, I don't think, I think it was $25 a person. Hmm. All you can eat's not bad. Yeah, I just really like our place in Chicago. Well, our place in Chicago, one is in Chicago and two is like thirteen dollars for all you can eat. It's questionable. It wasn't thirteen. It was questionable how. Mm -mm. It was nice because you also got seaweed salad. <laughs> you got something. You got something. It was also in a hole in the wall, like just right in the north of the loop. Are we talking about the same? I'm place? talking about the place we saw your uncle. No. You're talking about a place where we went, we went with Christina and Grant? That place was nice. That was definitely like 20 bucks a person. That was in Wicker Park, I think. All right, I'm going to go to Publix, and <laughs> for the past 10 minutes, it's been Sarah like, hmm, huh, hmm, I huh, just, hmm, I just, huh. I just. <laughs> Did the iOS 14 update? Everything's kind of changed a little bit, and it's weirding me out. Also, we picked up two of these Zensa masks. For our family members that are coming in. I keep saying family members because I haven't talked to them if they were going to be in the vlog or not. So I don't want to give up their identities. Um, but we picked up two of these because they're like, hey, what are those masks you wear? Could we get them before we get to Orlando? And I was like, I don't think you can, but I can go pick some up. So Sarah went and got them, as you saw. But we just look at them because they're Sarah picked up the black ones, but now they're black with silver here. And they're structured a little bit differently. Um, I don't know which ones I like more. I think I like mine, but the inside of the other ones are slightly different, and I like those. But 
We're over here at the Publix. We're gonna see what kind of sushi we can get. Sarah's also nervous that she's still gonna be hungry. So she, as I was leaving, screamed at the door and said, make sure you get at least four rolls. So fingers crossed they have a good selection. I just walked past so many amazing BOGO deals. That's the thing about Publix, they get you. They get you with the BOGO. But I walked past them all. What if there's a BOGO on sushi? <laughs> After a very humorous phone call with Sarah, we have all the sushi, and I'm gonna grab these raspberry pastry bites. Came back and she's cozy as could be. Yep, 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 yep. It's a cozy Friday. It is a cozy Friday. Now, eat up. Oh my gosh. We wanted the sushi, we got the sushi. And, F no, raspberry, raspberry. turnover pastry. No, just. I think I know different. exactly what these are, and I'm so happy. Thomas. Yes. Delicious. Yes. first. And. Somebody, somebody feed Sarah. Somebody feed Phil. <laughs> I want my goal in life is to meet Phil. What an unexpected turn this day took um we have not vlogged in some time since we have the news broke that ruth bader ginsburg supreme court justice passed away um if you are aware of politics um or even just of ruth's legacy you will understand why it is such a big deal um our hope is that she can be properly mourned before it goes, um, you know, totally political and what it means. However, um, she was a force to be reckoned with, an incredible woman in history. Um, forever she will be known for the impact that she had made. And I just saw something online that was like, as easy as it is to say, this is such a big blow um, because it is the very last um, thing that Ruth represented was giving up or just um, giving in. So I don't know. I just think that it's it's important that it's carried out, that there's work to be done um, and that it can be done and that that was like so much of her spirit and of her work. And so this, this is a very sad day. Um, and of course, like our condolences for everyone who was so close with her because just losing a loved one at all um, is just, you know, earth shattering. Um, but her impact and her, you know, her power in our country um, is also something that we will be grieving. And so Peter's on his run. He's doing a long run. I'm actually doing some freelance work because I napped earlier. I'm going to do a little bit of work tomorrow too, but um, that's the rest of their night. Can you hear my puppy? She needs something. Got to go see what she needs. May I help you, little girl? You're still getting used to your haircut, huh? She got lots of treats for going. She's not... She's not a fan of loud noises. I can't imagine she enjoys the clippers and whatnot. Plus I know she just feels weird because it's such a drastic change from like her long hair. Are you okay? Should you get some treats? Should we get you some treats? I'm taking a stop on my run. Looking like I'm gonna knock out 12 miles, but I just ran through downtown Orlando. Like here's where all the bars are. I'm on church, orange. Magnolia here. Florida open up their bars on Monday. I know it's a lot more popular, especially for people who watch our vlog, to think that theme parks are gonna blow up Florida numbers, Central Florida numbers for the virus, but I was in the street, like the middle of the street, because all the street, it was so busy, all of the streets. I just ran through a mile of downtown Orlando with all the streets shut down. Cops in on the intersection closing them down so people could walk. I was running down the middle of all these streets with so many people hanging out all on top of each other in the bars, outside of the bars. I think it was 30% mask wearing, zero social distancing. So let's see these Central Florida numbers in about another two, three weeks. Ooh, take your worst. I, I should have taken video of it because 
take the worst theme park photos at Universal and Disney you've seen dramatized by who or knows who online over the past two months, that was just worse. Take anything you think of the protests you've seen me at during the congregation portions of those. Ooh, Orlando, come on. All right, I gotta get back to running. September 18th has been the longest day of my life. One today is worth two tomorrows, Benjamin Franklin. Guys, I'm wearing the same thing as I wore in yesterday's sign up. I finished my 12 mile run, I did it. Good work. And Look now, at this pup. She's ready for bed, we're ready for bed. Mm -hmm. It's almost one and I have to get up <laughs> soon. Why? I have to do work stuff before I go to Universal. I know, not too much. Yeah. Not, because our original plan, you were going to run to... I was going to run my 12 miles tomorrow morning before I did work stuff and before I went to Universal at Park Open. Yeah. But so. I'm staying home. Decided I'm going to get some work done, fold some laundry, and not have to just, like, let Peter scope it out and then we'll decide if I go if it can if it keeps up currently stocking all of the nice like words people are saying for Justice Ginsburg and also all of the people politicizing it and trying to figure out what's going to happen to our Supreme Court <laughs> are you cutting yourself off you Cause deserve to be seen because <laughs> I, I was not because I'm sleepy <laughs> it's good to be home it's good to be home. We're, we have a lot of fun days coming with um, family in town, so get ready. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.